<laughs> and we got someone who's come all the way from Bell County. Um, okay, I'm going to jump right into it. Um, well, first of all, I'd like to thank Brenda and Hal for having us here tonight and the other people involved with Morris Bookshop. This is a great treasure in Lexington. Um, this new book is called The Common Man, and all of the poems in it are written in couplets, little paired lines, and um, each line is supposed to have four beats. In technical terms, we call it iambic tetrameter. Um, and it's a nice little rhythm for storytelling, so that's what I think these, these poems are sort of... Um, little stories. Um, and by the way, those of you who live around here, you need to go see Ray. He plays in a band called Tula, T-U-L-A, um, at only respectable establishments. <laughs> <laughs> um, only the most respectable. Yes, uh, they have a great band. Um, the first poem I read is called Moonshine. There's some of these are rated PG uh, plus, but some of them are, are, are this is close. <coughs> Moonshine. The older boy said, take your slash of this, it'll make your sticker pack out. <laughs> Which would have been a more profound effect than putting hair on my chest to which I was already accustomed. <laughs> Proverbially, of course, he was right. I took a slash, another, and then I felt an impassioned swelling, though between my ears, as they say, a hot illumination in my brain. The shine had not been cut. Full of the moon it was for sure. I knew the mountain county it came from, my family's section on Little Goose distant cousin would have been proud to know another cousin was drinking what might as well be blood, <laughs> at least the bonds that come with blood, the laugh before the tragic truth, the love of certain women, the hate for lies, the knowledge that death can be a mercy, the vision blurred and burning there in the mind and in the wounded heart. This was the first time I heard the story I was born to tell. The first I knew that I was in the story too. When you all were youngsters, you